everybody, this is Roxy, and I um, downloaded the new version 4 software for Silhouette, and um, I'm just kind of now going through it, because when I, I was having a problem about a month or so ago with my software, and it was the version 3.8 or whatever, and so I called Silhouette, cause I, and I can't even remember what was going on, so I won't even go into that. But I called Silhouette and she said, well, you have to download the new software. I said, okay. So we've had problems in the past with, I have a Macintosh, and Silhouette has had problems with Macintosh software. At one point, I had a really old version, as told to me by one of the Silhouette helpers, just to keep that old version because the new stuff wasn't coming out very well. Okay, that was like when I first got it three years ago. So, um, I've since updated, and then now, like I said a month ago, I was having problems again that were kind of weird. If I thought about it, I could remember, but it doesn't even matter. So, she told me, go here, I go there on their, soft, on their website. She said, just click download and you'll be fine. And she waited on the phone while I did that. I opened up the software. <clears throat> and I'm like, oh, okay, well, where are all my images? She goes, oh, well, you were supposed to back up that, back up your images first. And I'm like, well, that's good to know now. So I lost everything. So then she had to go through all these little tunnels and whatnot so that I could get my images back. So this is a warning to you, whether you're on a Mac or a PC, to first back up all your library images. Okay, so to do that, this is the new version, but if you were in the old version, um, let's kind of pretend you are. Okay, so the new version, everything's up here now. If you want to design, that's this page. All the designing kind of um, elements are on the sides. Um, there's probably few things different. There's one thing that I cannot find and I have searched everywhere. I've watched every new V4 um, uh, YouTube that or you know video that people put out. I've searched the internet. I've searched Silhouette. I can't find where you make a new folder for your images. So anyways we'll go to library and local user is me. So these are, this is how I stored all my images. I had them by category. So that if I was making a card, I could go to card and all my images would have showed up had she told me to download them. But she didn't tell me to download them, so these are all empty. So I had to go through, and this was empty. I think this had about 300 designs. And that was what came with my machine. Or my initial software. So she got it so we could restore all this. So now everything needs to be on the cloud. Like I could still use all these files on my desktop, but I'm just going through the cloud now. But just be sure you back up everything. And this is how you back up everything. Let's pretend I don't have this new version yet, okay? And I don't have the cloud. So you go to um, local user right here go on that and right click on local user with a Mac you would um, control click and that will allow you to save all your images to the desktop which becomes this little file folder right here I don't know if you can see it this little thing so that's my whole library, supposedly. I'm praying, I'm hoping. So that is what you first want to do before you download this new version. If you've already downloaded it and you already had the cloud set up, some people do have the cloud set up. I did not because I don't trust the cloud. <laughs> I mean, I probably should trust the cloud, but... You know, nobody can really explain what the cloud is and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so here's local user. 
Now to get back to the cloud, that's the tricky part. Now see, I don't even know where the cloud is. There's a that's the cloud. Okay, so if I was a local user, blah blah blah. So I've taken everything except yeah, I've taken everything out of here. These yeah, these are the ones that came with the soft or the machine. And those are just like I don't even use them. So I literally had to go in here in my 4500 designs, type in, you know, I, have, I like how I have these um, separated out. So then I had to type in, say, flower or card and find all my card bases and then copy all of these into new file folders that I made when I initially um, opened this thing up or started this version. But now, remember when the old days, the old version, if you were in your library, there was a menu up here that had a file folder and an X. Um, you know what I'm talking about. And you would click on the file folder and it could you could make a new file folder. I don't see anywhere where that is now, and I can't I've looked. I've gone through the menu up here. There's no uh, new file tab. But anyway, so I'm going to kind of go through. So here's, so here's, I put all of the stuff that I would have had in here, I've moved here. And so far, I don't have, as you can see, I don't have near as many as I'm supposed to have. Because what I did was I went through like some of these files had like the stuff that I uploaded from SVG Cuts, Nancy Rowe, the stuff that I purchased and uploaded, that came through for some reason. But anything else that I got off their library did not come through. So to me that's just bizarre. I don't know why they would have that written into their software to delete all your files um, when you're uploading the new version. But anyways, um, Okay, so back to, I think, Sam, let me just think, try something here. So did that work? No. Yeah, it did work. That's the only way I can make a file folder. So I don't even know what I'm going to call that one. It's not gonna let me do that. Okay, so that's the only way I can make a file folder is by using one of these and dragging it down, which is kind of goofy. I don't, I don't know, and it's probably something that I'm missing. Okay, so if you go to this, if you want to go to the store, bam, you're there. Well, maybe not. There. So that's kind of nice. You know, because they used to be here and you have to go back and forth. And then if you want to design something, you're here. So this is recovered documents that you can close out. And that's kind of what's nice is you can drag these little boxes. And um, I used to work in publishing and we used to have a lot of design software. And we would have windows open all over our desktop so that you wouldn't have to sit and click on this and go over here. I mean, you could just move these around. So that's really nice. I like this feature. So basically everything's the same. You know, otherwise. I mean, you got your colors, rules, trace feature. What's that? Oh, that might be new. Hmm. Well, that's maybe different. Your font. Transform. Oh, okay, so that's oh, that's kind of nice that they've got it kind of all in one. Like what you want to do with your image. Twirl it around or whatever. So don't replicate. Emboss. Well, but anyway, so it's not a whole lot different. Oh, you can draw. Oh.
edit points. That's yeah. Okay. A knife. To cut that up. So it is going to be a little bit of. Yeah, I did cut it. It's going to be a little bit of relearning where stuff is. But other than that, it's, you know, you still can go up here and use these. Sometimes I like this best. Instead of looking for little icons that or icons that are so similar, you know what I mean? It's all what you like. So, but that was one thing I really wanted to warn anybody about that hasn't downloaded the new version is if you don't have the cloud already make sure you and even so even if you do I would still back up all your designs onto your desktop just to be on the safe side so I will do more videos as I kinda feel this all out a little more but I kinda do like this this whole library and store and you know I kinda like that and then you still can go a new new project. Oh, this is cool. This is new. The new project wizard. So you this is really cool. So you can just bam click on that. Start and you got a new file or a new desk design page with your um, register marks. So that's cool. I like that. The project wizard. Here's a card. So to move this around, or to change the size, you just need your little edit key here. And then you can... But there's got to be an uh, icon for that too. So, and that's something that I'm just going to have to learn again here. Yeah, right here. But... A lot of new stuff. A lot of learning curve here a little bit. Nice thing. So, like I said, I will do more videos coming up. But that is a major warning because it's taken me a month. And I was really bummed about that because that's a lot of rearranging that you have to do. If you just keep it all in one big file, don't worry about it. But I, like I said, like to have it organized for when I'm designing. And... Ugh, I'm still not even halfway through. So, um, but thanks for watching, and I will work on some more projects. Bye-bye.